Hello, everyone. Cardi B celebrates her anniversary with Offset. Let's take a look at this video. Beautiful. You did that. 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 Thank you, baby. I love you. Okay. Cheers. Happy mm. anniversary. Happy anniversary. Mm. You should have enough sugar. Yeah. Get some shine. Well, Boy, did that food look amazing. It seems like Offset and Cardi enjoyed their anniversary. Now we're going to look at Tammy and her daughter. There is something that I must confess. clip you will see Tammy do her best Britney Spears impersonation sell them Stop. Come on, do your Britney Spears impression. No, I'm not doing no Britney Spears impression. Wow, we was playing the game. Let's I'm play Apollo. Let's I'm play. The one in the eat your food. Let's play Apollo. Why do you want to play games with me? <laughs> you my daughter. With you. That's what mama and daughters do. We play when we be young. We used to play Apollo, and I was Kiki Shepherd. Girl, I don't know what that is. You could be Sandman. Mm -mm. You know what Apollo is? Nope. Swear to God. Swear. Okay, I'm gonna be. Let's play Destiny Child. Mom. No, for real. I'm going to be Beyonce. You can be Michelle. <laughs> These days, kids do not want to do anything with their parents. I used to love to watch Apollo when I was growing up. Sammy has been living her best life since her and Walker broke up. Have y'all been watching their show, What the Flocka? In other news, Lamar Odom is off the market. It has been reported that he is dating a transgender model. Her name is Danielle Alexis. Her real name is Shane, and she was born a boy. Everybody thinks she looks like his ex-wife, Chloe. What do y'all think? On to another topic, Dr. Umar and Hope Giselle got into a brief argument. Let's get into this clip. Knew that I was on a panel with a surgically altered black man. If I would have knew that I was on a panel with a surgically altered black man, 
my conversation might have been different. My analysis might have been different. My critique might have been different. My insight might have been different. You want to bring a surgically altered male to the conversation? No worries, because intellectually nobody can handle me. Intellectually, nobody can handle me. So if you want to bring a surgically altered male, no disrespect, but don't you think you have a right to tell me? Do your guests have a right to be informed? What, you know, that's all I'm saying. Don't have me thinking I'm talking to a woman. Don't have me thinking I'm talking to a woman. Don't have me think I'm talking to a woman. And I'm having a conversation with a surgically altered male. That's all, no disrespect, just let me know. Hope Gazelle, I ain't got nothing against you, bruh. Hope Gazelle, I ain't got nothing against you, bruh. Hope Gazelle, I ain't got nothing against you, bruh. I'm simply saying I had a right to know. He was on a panel with Hope and some other people, but he didn't know Hope was born a male. Let's get into what Hope had to say. Oh, so willing and ready to walk away from each other than to figure this out. But what really burdens your grits and what really makes you upset, Dr. Umar, is that you sat there on that live that panel for an hour and a half with it, with commercial breaks and all of that, and your little jumping. And every time I opened my intelligent mouth, your little got a little harder. And you were just so thralled with this black queen that was spitting this knowledge and even if you didn't agree with everything that I was saying down for it because when it comes down to the women that you claim that you like on that panel I was her it's giving skin it was giving fresh face it was giving no it was giving I'm not giving it to everybody it was giving African kente cloth it was giving all of the things and set it up that way for a reason I didn't go in and put on lashes or overdo my makeup. I, I barely brushed my because I didn't want people to turn around and say, you can only fool us if you have all of that going on. You can only trick us if you have all of that going on. You can only be a woman if you- How do y'all feel about this? I think it's going to get harder and harder for a man to detect a woman from a man these days. I want to know why would they want to trick a man anyway? Just be yourself and let the people know the truth about your situation. There's no need to hide. Hiding it will only cause more drama. Well, that concludes this video. I hope y'all enjoy. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.